Hello guys, my name is Desert Tiger and welcome to episode 3rd of Forsaken Isle Let's Play. As you guys can see, I expand my house. So this is just temporary room. This is our kind of uh, construction room and then this is a kitchen. Future kitchen, it's not ready yet. So we have uh, but we have some crabs growing over here, we have some uh, pineapples growing over there but first thing uh, I want to show you I also grab some resources but I want to show you something with the resources so actually I mine the stone this is how you know you, you can mine it that but also you can mine it that part of stone and when you mine it you're also gonna get the flint because if you just mine this stone then you're just gonna get the rocks and but if you mind that just whatever let's over I mean leftover you're gonna get the flint so you can mine that too and that's why you can mine the rocks and if you want to mine the wood so this is like you, you can see these like palms the small ones and the big ones the difference between small ones and big ones like when you mine it I mean when you chop it down, they gone. So basically you got the resources, but not growing back. But if you're gonna mine the big one, like this one, you will gonna leave the stamp. And if you're gonna, if you leave that stamp, that uh, palm will gonna grow back. But if for some reason you don't like that stamp, you can always remove it by using the shuffle. And that's it, stamp is gone. And of course, if you don't like that uh, scent over here, you can uh, place the grass. So we can have a grass, grass seeds, and then select grass seeds, and you can just place it. And it looks beautiful, nice and green. The same with this stuff, you can remove with the shuffle. And of course, like you're digging in, then you have to get that piece of dirt cover the hole and then you have to do get the grass seeds and cover like that and done all right so let's I'm gonna put back my grass seeds and here there will be our we're gonna plant some seeds mm, but it's night time I don't have a bed yet so all right and we're gonna make a fabric but Wait a minute, we don't have a, we don't have a spinning wheel. We need to first make a spinning wheel. So the spinning wheel we need some cords, just one cord. We need also wooden wheel. It's easy to make from the wood. And we need 10 lakhs. We have 36 lakhs, so that should be enough. And we, we can make spinning wheel. In if you don't see a spinning wheel, see there's like one and two pages, so they just so many items you can craft from that stuff what you have in your inventory if that if that like you cannot see it so it's like you can flip to the other second page it's like there's two pages so on the second page there's a another part bunch of stuff you can craft and there's a spinning wheel so we can craft it and we're gonna place in our hot bar and then just place it right over here there you go we have a spinning wheel now we can safely craft <laughs> our fabric. We need two more fabrics. And now finally we can make a bed. So we're gonna go to this one. Uh, basically if you put all the crafting stations next to each other, whatever you click, you get all the items for all the crafting stations. So you don't have to like click separate one. And we should be able to make a bed, I believe. If I of course have enough planks, because I did not have the planks, I need I guess six planks, and then we can make a bait. Actually, bait required only five planks and three fabrics. There we go, we have a bed. And guess what? It's the daytime. <laughs> so it took us whole night to make a bed, but now we can place this bed. Mm, I don't want to place too close to the fireplace, it's gonna be too hot. Uh, so temporarily we're gonna place the bed over here, but we're gonna increase our room. Alright, like I said before, 
I'm gonna make some crabs and in order to make the crabs you just seed the grass and you just use uh, hoe I uh, wonder if I do have a hole. No, I don't have a hole and should have one of the crates or chests or... Yep, flint hole. And what you do, just, you know, left click and make it like nice decent crops. And this one, you can make another one over here. Of course, you cannot do over there actually no you can you can, you can do on the sand too on actually that's called dirt so we're gonna make nice and beautiful all that stuff and then uh, we need some seeds and do we have seeds over here mm, so we're gonna use uh, yeah I can take the grain seeds mm, grass seeds no tomato seeds yes Flax seeds and orange seeds. I'm gonna show you all the stuff. Flax seeds. Okay, good. Probably need one more spot, but okay. Let's do plant the carrot seeds first. And what's what's the important stuff is do not step in on the seeds because if you're gonna step in on the seeds, they're kind of annoying. They will just see this, so you have to be careful. If they will be like fully grown, then you can step in. But if they like in growing phase, don't step because then you have to replant them again. I know it's kind of annoying, but I don't know. That's I guess that's because that's alpha. The game is still in the alpha. That's why it's so annoying. Uh, let's put the orange. Place the orange and then we're gonna pull, place the flax seeds. Flax seeds gonna give us uh, what do you call it? A court. We can make a court. So this one you don't have to go in the water and collect the fabric. And that thing is the hench, and you can craft this by using green leaves which I should have green leaves yeah leaves and then you can craft it three leaves you can make a hench you can have a bunch of them and this is like that looks like a kind of wall so they prevent other maps on hostile maps from entering our uh, you know house or whatever so we can just plant over here. See, I, I cannot go through that and they cannot access. And what I say about the trees, see the, like the palm trees when you're gonna chop down. See, it's gone, but we're gonna chop down big one. And if you leave the stems, they will grow back. But also what you can do with the regular palms, see the coconuts, if you're not planning to eat the coconuts, you can plant plant them just like that. And new palms gonna grow, and they're gonna be looks like like these guys, like these guys. So you can uh, chop it, and you can get uh, coconut, and actually replant it. It's gonna grow back, but it's kind of painful because you have to like chop down and replant. And with the big ones, you just chop it down and that's it. And they're gonna plant on its own. And pineapples, it's very easy to plant because you have to collect and you don't have to worry to step in on the pineapples, even of the crowns. They're not gonna get destroyed like these regular plants, if you will be careful. And actually you can uh, get some, oh, excuse me, let me these guys take care of these guys first thank you for the money thank you for your support and let's put pineapple crowns and we can plant it over here and of course it's the night time and like I said I don't like to show you guys stuff in the night time because it's not visible that's much stuff so we're gonna set up our spawn point 
which is also good, like in Minecraft. And we're gonna skip the night, and as you can see, this uh, the night times goes much faster. I mean, it's not like this is like instant, but it will do. And you just wake up, and that's it. Also, you can cover the water if you don't like. And the way you can cover the water, you can just uh, grab a piece of dirt. And you just plant like that. If you take the piece of dirt, this is how you can cover the water. But you, you can use the... You're going to use the dirt. So you need new sources of dirt. And we can go to the cave. I mean, to grab the dirt, but you can grab the dirt from everywhere. Oh, our shuffle is gone. Okay, let's craft another shuffle. Flint shuffle. Soon we're gonna go caving, so we have better tools. Uh, where's the shuffle? Yeah, right there. Of course, you can grab the, some dirt from over here, but you're gonna make a hole. And by accident, if you use the shuffle on the grass, you're gonna get the grass seeds. And also, uh, last time I said this is the dirt, but actually this is not the dirt, this is the clay. Sorry for confusion. Actually, this is the clay. What the clay, what you can use for clay, you can actually make bricks and then you can have uh, like brick walls. Also, what you can do, like if you... To cover more water, if you don't like that, you can use gravel. And gravel is really funny thing to, to use because I'm gonna show you. I mean dirt, you have to mine it, some dirt and when you're gonna plant on the water it's gonna cover the water but you're gonna lose the dirt with the gravel on the other hand, where's my gravel? okay and you place it so it's gonna leave the gra gravel patch and then you can use the shuffle you can just shuffle the gravel and you have two pieces of gravel back so you just you're not uh, wasting your gravel. So again, just keep using the gravel and then just use the shuffle. Or if you don't want to play, just uh, grab the dirt. And this is the hole which we have to cover. I Let's see, let's try to see if I can cover that hole with the gravel. Oh yes, I can. Okay. <laughs> so I can do that too. And you have gravel back, so that means this is like you don't have to carry lots of dirt with you. You can just use gravel to do that, of course. Okay, so we're gonna move our pineapples from this side to the other. And the reason I'm doing this because I'm gonna prepare this for the future. Like we have uh, animals over here. Oh, did I mess it up? No, where's my shuffle? Yeah. So let's remove these pineapples from this side and we're gonna replant on this on the right side. Uh, so we have pineapples, we're gonna make some crowns. This is our basic food, then we'll have a better food later on. So we can plant pineapples. I'm gonna make a nice and neat. Uh, also, what we're gonna do, we have, oops. Where's my pickaxe? Ah, there you go, flame pickaxe. I'm gonna make an entrance. You don't have to, you can just punch the wall <laughs> to make an entrance. And we're gonna put, I should have some wooden floors. Oh, by the way, also if you have storage, doesn't, you can click, as long as you're close to it, you can click, you have to click on every storage to see what's inside and I have a wooden wall but I don't have a wooden floor so I'm gonna make a wooden floor and also we need to make our doors another door and wooden door there we go so let's place wooden floor and make a wooden place a wooden door all right, so now we have uh, access to our pineapples. Beautiful. And our crops is fully grown. So now you can 
actually the flax is not fully grown but uh, carrots yeah they're fully grown so you can feel free you can step on it and it's not gonna replant and you don't have to replant it so, but when you harvest this is how you harvest and basically once you harvest you have to replant all the seeds back again which is not that bad but it's kind of like tedious work to do this but if you like it it will be fine it will be fine all right so we're gonna just replant this all the stuff later and let's do some caving well a caving <laughs> looks like in minecraft caving but before we're gonna do this you have to make some preparations so first all right now i'm ready so we can go mining or caving actually so the first level of caving you just use uh, you know uh, vines you can go down I like see well, it's surrounded by the walls so this is not a good spot so we're gonna find another one another entrance I guess this one will be good so I can go over here oh. also we got uh, I mean you could mine that stone but it's easier to actually to find here regular one okay and of course it's dark over there so you have to use the torches see like I already placed some torches I start uh, like mining and what you can find over here you can find some chests of course it's gonna find the bad guys so gonna use boomerang to kill this guy also I forgot to tell you guys I have a better weapon long range weapon this is like wand cool wand and guess what look at this there's a long range weapon but what this does it requires 10 energy so I have 100 energy there's a way in the game you can increase the mana and also you can increase your health and be careful on the bats because the bats they freaking nasty little things and they are gonna just drain health from you oh no so what you can find over here you can find the chests Oh, somebody was shooting at me. Or oh, maybe it was. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know he's not. Doesn't do that too much damage, that weapon, but. Will do. For now. So you can right click, see we have another gold, gold ring. So now we have one extra spot we can equip, and we have like our personal flashlight. It's not that doesn't have that huge range, but at least give us some kind of light. As we can see, there's a lot of bad guys in uh, in the caves, and this is only the first level. To get to the second level, what you have to do, you have to build the stars. Oh, that's now nice. music is so nice. I like I like the music. I'm gonna use our long weapon so we can kill this guy of course he can teleport so but later on we can have a potion teleportation potion and we can use that to teleport ourselves so let's take all the stuff And also we're gonna grab our new chest. And what you can find here, actually, let me just place uh, some torches. You can find copper on this level and coal. The coal will be very useful because we can make a smelt, some copper or iron if you're gonna find it. Of course, you have to need the pickaxe to mine that. And let's kill that slime. Another piece of... So we also get the coal and the rocks with that, but this is how you can find it. And also you can, you can find the flint too. Oh. Some very really good stuff over there. All right. 
So it's gonna place the torches, gonna light, light up the caves. Just like Minecraft, just lighting up the caves. And make sure to stay away from the bad, bad guys. Once you have, once we're gonna have some copper, we can have a uh, make cup, copper tools, copper weapons. Also, you can spot the jars, which you can break it and grab some stuff from there. So we have a bunch of goodies in the cave, and you have to look for the vines if you want to exit. But also, what you can do, if you build the stairs, you can go up, or you can just make a rope. And any point in this cave, you just right click or left click. Actually, I'm sorry, I have to put the rope in my hotbar. And I select my rope in the hotbar and do right click, and I'm in my ward. But the only thing I don't know where I am <laughs> because it was big caving, so you have to find your way back to your home, which is we didn't went that far. So let's go back to our home. I already mined some copper. And what we also we should do, we should make to forge, make a forge so we can smelt uh, iron and copper. And to make a forge, you need some racks, which we have a uh, racks and coal, but that's not enough racks, so we need more racks. Actually, no, this is the clay. There's also the clay. Oh, where's my racks? Oh yeah, there we go, that's my racks. So we should be able to make a forge. We need 10 racks and 4 coal pieces. We have a forge, so we're just temporarily gonna place the forge over here. But later on I'm gonna build proper room and that room is gonna be on this side. And make like a smelting room. So let's place our forge temporarily over here. And we can smelt. Since I have some iron ore and I should copper. So this is how you get the copper. One piece of coal, three copper. And iron, same thing. Three irons and one copper. And we have some iron and copper. It's not that much, just basic quantities, but you can go mine, you can have more of that stuff. And also so you got life force portion, that's the only one you can find in the caves, in the chests. So if I right click, or actually I should put in my hot bar, and say it's going to increase our health by 20 points, right now we have 100 points, so if you're going to select that and right click, or left click, or right click actually, see I got 120 points. So this is how you can increase your health. You can increase your health maximum up to 300 points and mana I'm not so sure I don't remember how many points you can increase but there's a way to increase that too. All right that will be all for this episode. Like I said I'm gonna build another smelting room and move my stuff around and then get more food, make better crops, cover more land, I mean water make a nice and neat and then the next episode where we're gonna get some animals build the fences around the animals and then uh, get better tools because right now we are using flint tools and basic weapons so we have better swords better axe pickaxe that that means they're gonna last longer and that's all so Thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoy it and see you next time. Bye bye, take care.